Hi guys, welcome to the very first episode of Talking Tuesday with Tanya and I'm overwhelmed to welcome each one of you. Today's video will be about learning data analytics for beginners. So as a data enthusiast or if you are someone who wants to switch your career into data analytics, what all you should look into, what shall, what path, what ways you should aspire for so that you can make a career transition or you can just start your fresh career or if you are someone with, in love with data. So this video is specifically for all you guys. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. So before we actually talk about the key terminologies associated to data, we would like you to know what is data analytics? First, you should understand like what is being actually done into data analytics. So since you all know there is a, has been a vast amount of data available onto the internet, globe and lot more. You have multiple files. But what data analytics help you with is you guys get a proper result out of that data. To derive some meaningful insights from that data, we do some data analytics. We apply some functions, certain tweaks and tweaks in the data. We manipulate the data accordingly so that we have a desired result. So that's the whole sole agenda of the data analytics, like what's actually data. And then why is it important? So why data analytics is important? Because bigger organizations like edtech organizations, healthcare industries, or like N number of forensics and other, each of the sector available today has somewhere or the other, they have their analytics teams in the back end who take care of their data because it helps them take bigger decisions in their organization. They take, they learn from that data, they train their boards, they train their company, and then they take bigger insights and which help them to take a related uh, product decision, marketing decision, or any of the stuffs. But these analytics help them to make profits in long run. So that's why data analytics plays a key role in most of the organization these days. And that's why data analytics role is really in trend in the coming years. And so it is uh, for now. So now, since you have understood what data analytics is, what is the importance of data analytics? How does it help an organization? The next thing we will be moving into is how can you start your data analytics journey? So talking about myself, I being an individual who has no idea, I'm going to talk about someone who does not know anything about data analytics. So from there, we are going to start. So in case you are someone coming from that category, what you need to do is you need to understand you can take some basic data sets on Excel and you can try manipulating that data. You should understand about data types, data sources, how you can just connect your data sources, how can you connect your data. So these kinds of basic transitions about data. Firstly, to do analytics is the second part of the story. To understand data is the first. A good data analyst is someone who understands the data from the scratch, who knows what to pick up from the lot because in, in front of us are like there are thousands of options to pick from and from there you pick your relevant data source and that's how you choose which data to take from so tools like excel helps you to understand there you'll go you can try different formats of data types being a number in format text decimal and a lot more and then you can look about what kind of data sources are available and from there onwards starts your journey of fetching data. So once you have looked enough on how you can clean data, how you can transform data, there starts your how you can query data now. So since your data has been made available in a database now, so what's going to be your next step? You are going to learn SQL. SQL is a basic query language, like basically used to fetch data from a database. So how you do that now? So suppose you have a certain database and a table within that database, you're going to fetch that data. And for that, you're going to write certain statements. There is a proper format of uh, like, there is a syntax. You have to start like, start like select star from 
the table name where like you can just put your date conditions or like whichever status or whichever condition basically you're looking for the data you need to apply that and this becomes your second building block of the data analytics where you learn how you query your data so now i assume you being an individual who has got a basic knowledge of an excel and you have started your journey into learning sql as well so now what's the next step so after SQL, what you can do is you can take that data. Now you have extracted your data from which you want to create some visualizations or from which you want to create some insights. So now here comes like the two blocks. In case you want to visualize your data, tools like Tableau, tools like Power BI, tools like SSRS helps you out where you go and you connect your data source to these softwares and you start developing visuals. I'm just giving you an overlay. Just don't think in just one episode, you will learn everything out. But now you know the direction from where to start and how you have to follow. So using Tableau, using Power BI, you can leverage their visualizations uh, techniques and you can build your own dashboards. This is one side after fetching data, you get into visualizations. There are certain people who completely work into this domain. So these data analysts are generally known as Power BI experts, Tableau developers, and a lot more other names available. While there are certain second section, which is related to insight analysts. So what these guys do is these guys fetch the data. They just try to bring out the numbers so they can also live with SQL. They can apply simple basic maths formulas like minimum, maximum, average, count, rank and other stuff using SQL. And then they pull their data out in a CSV file. They download it and try to interpret that data and provide some bigger numbers to the organization. So with this kind of analytics, you become a part of someone who is into the role of insight analyst. So now you understood two segments. And now you will think, okay, now I know Excel, now I know SQL, now I know Tableau or Power BI. What next? What do we have next in this bigger domain? So from this comes like tools like R, Python, which helps you. So these are certain programming languages which you can learn and with which you can apply data analytics into that particular domain. So Python being one of the most widely used languages in the domain and in the industry of data analytics and science as well. So this gives you a direction to the other domain of data analytics that's data science, but we will not deviate into that path in this video and we will restrict to the data analyst domain. But yeah, analyst, how you uh, like how Python can help us as an analyst. So what you can do is you can just simply query your data. The way we query our data on SQL, similarly, uh, we can pull the data, we can extract the data using Python code as well. So that's why Python or R become some mandatory and good programming languages which vast your resume. So this is how a basic uh, learning of a data analyst go through. This is the series of steps you need to take to learn data analytics. And that's not it. So in case you want to be a data analyst, what matters a lot is practice proficiency, how proficient are you, how good you are at understanding data. So these concepts are like very important and very crucial in the domain of data analytics. And in order to seek this uh, learning, what you guys can do is you guys can create a network among yourself. You guys can connect to people who are either good data analysts or who are in this particular scope of doing that because peer-to-peer -peer help works great when you're learning something new. So in case you don't find someone to practice along with you or to guide you through the right path, you have other places as well. YouTube being one of the biggest hub, I think a lot of content is available on YouTube to start your learning journey. This video aims to provide you a path while you'll be having abundant videos on YouTube as well to start like, okay, this series I should follow so that I get complete insights. And similarly, what else you can look at relevant websites also like Udemy, Coursera, they are 
having n number of data analyst courses you can check their reviews you can check their comments you can check their ratings and finalize okay i want to go into this domain so i should pick this path or that one so that depends on a need of an individual in which direction they want to take their career path to and in case you are starting raw i hope this video provide you some real and raw insights about data analytics this is just the start of the series talking tuesday with tanya and in the further more series we are going to add relevant videos which are in uh, like necessarily in the domain of data analytics and there is a lot more coming to your way also guys in your comments in the comment section you can let us know your specific doubts your specific questions which will help us curate this playlist a lot more better so like i just want this series to go very friendly this series to be very raw it, it will not use any most of the fancy words it will be as raw to easy to interpret and make your life easier and that's why i'm here your host tanya so i hope you guys like watching me you like this content and feel free to connect to us on all the other platforms available linkedin instagram and of course youtube and in case you haven't subscribed to our channel please like share and subscribe to our channel and thank you travelites love you back bye bye take